Welcome to Kitty Plays The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. So let's load our old save game. Greetings! There we are, we're currently in Kaya's Casadas' house. We just got the quest from him, or the order, to kind of mingle with the locals, get ourselves some reputation, and since we're going to, uh, to play a mage, I intend to now go to the Mages Guild. So the Mages Guild, we already saw it when we entered Balmora. So it's on the other side of the Odai River. So we're going to cross the bridge here and just head over. Go ahead. Say your business. Here we go, the Fighter's Guild, and right next to it is the Mage's Guild. Let's see. At least we can also get out of the rain now. Head inside. And there is My Remus time is precious, Atris, so make it quick. Whom we're going to talk to to join the Major Guild. Are you looking for me? You want to join the Major Guild? Yeah, we we'll want to I want to join the Major Guild. Mm, yes. You look like the sword we could use in the Major Guild. Will you take the Major's oath and join the guild? Oh. What is this mage so? But from any duties assigned to you by masters of the guild, learn from them and grow strong. Always share your knowledge freely with other guild members. Never strike or steal from another guild member. Does this appeal to you? Well, sounds kind of obvious. Uh, yeah, sign me up. You're now a member of the mages guild. Welcome, associate. When you're ready, you can ask for duties to perform. And once you're ready, you can ask me about advancement in the guild. Well, what about those duties, then? I don't have any duties for an associate. Speak with me again when you have proven yourself. In the meantime, speak with the Jira. I believe she may have some small tasks for you. Okay. Going to look for her. So, she doesn't have any duties for us, it seems. And there is the Major Guild supply chest, which is owned by the Major Guild. So I'm, I'm having a mod installed which shows the owner, and it also shows that we are allowed to access this as soon as we're associate, which we are. So now we can get some interventions, and so basically we can get some basic supplies. And I want one of these. Okay. So there are two uh, interventions. One is the um, CV intervention, which um, teleports us to the nearest fort of the region. And the divine intervention. I think we're actually going to... To... Um, oh, I kind of can't place items back in the container. Okay, so we're going to use them. The divine, the divine Intervention teleports us to the nearest temple, and since I think we're going to absorb a little bit of Dunmer culture, we're going to go and become part of the temple also. But for now, let's close up this chest and take a look. So there is also lots of stuff with that we can access, lots of ingredients. I am actually going to keep them there because we can always um, access them if we need them. And there is this... All right, I'm listening. This woman called Galbadir. She has a book on the origin of the Mages Guild. Some things that are owned by her, it seems. The platter we could take, because it's owned by the Mages Guild and open for an associate. And, well, she's not the... She's not Ajira. I mean, that name does sound like a Kajit's name, right? So we're going to head downstairs. 
here we have this little learning area. We have brief history of the empire and uh, red ware pots. Here we could go and read some books to other people. I think the game doesn't support this, which is too bad. That would be kind of awesome, being able to place a book there and then read it like that. May your battle show only victory, friend. Thanks. That's that's a very good blessing. Thank you. I mean, she's an orcus, or female orc. Yes, Khajiit. What do you want? Hi, I'm Nighty. I'm I'm new here in the Major Guild. Uh, do you know where Azira is? Doesn't look like it. But she could maybe train us. Yes, destruction is what we want to train, definitely. But we need more money. Looking for something in particular? Well, I'm I'm new in the Major Guild. Could you help me out, please? Yeah, maybe maybe you can help me with a little advice. How do you know when you got a quest too tough for you? If it sounds too tough for you, it probably is. You must use your own judgment. Guild stewards don't really get to know your abilities. All they know is that a guy never comes back. They don't know if they, they, if he got lost interest or if he got eaten. Hmm. Thanks. Pretty wise words. Well, who's that? Yes, sir. Messalini Marion. So she can... She offers travel services. I guess she knows teleport spells. Oh, bound weapons. Neat. Soul trap. Soul trap is something that we definitely want because with trapped souls we can um, in, we can trap souls into soul gems and thus I picked up these. And with them we can enchant uh, weapons and we can recharge enchanted weapons. Just opening the book to see if we learn something from it. Oh, that's that's Ajira. Okay. Greetings, friend. You wish to speak? What brings you to Ajira's shop? Do you want duties from Ajira? Do you want the local brews? Or help in a fight? Some Telvani bug mask? Or a way to reach the high places? Hmm. What are these local brews you're talking about? Yes, Ajira's elves Matze, Flynn and Sujama. They make you as strong as a kaguti and half as smart. Puts hair on your face. Well, I don't want to be half as smart. How about the help in a fight? What do you have for that? Ajira sells potions of restore health for when you're bleeding, and potions of restore fatigue when you're weary. <clears throat> and what is that Telvani bug mask you're talking about? Ajira does not like the Telvani. But even Khajiit like the smell of bug musk. Try some and smell how all the women like you. Mm, that sounds interesting. But I'm actually here for duties. Yes, Ajira has duties for you. Before Ajira can be a journeyman in the Major Guild, Ajira must study local mushrooms. Mushrooms? What kind of mushrooms? To finish Ajira's report, Ajira needs samples of Luminus Rusula. Violet Coprinus, Bangler Spain, and Haifa Fascia. Ajira knows you can find all these on the bitter coast. The easiest way is to go south along the river Odai until you see a wooden bridge across the river. Get out of the river there and find a path west over the hills. Ah, thank you. I'm going to look for them. I'm not going to ask her about the mushrooms now. I don't want to bore you to death with asking about everything. <laughs> okay, so we got ourselves our first quest for the Major Guild. Yes, Khajiit? What do you, you want? You know what? I'm going to check what, what spells and stuff she offers. Um, training, Enchant, Conjuration, and Alchemy. What does she sell? As she said, Swift Swim, Water Walking. Interesting. Fortify health. Lightning shield. Neat. Stability. Endurance. Crystal fatigue. We can't... Um, or our uh, spell chance goes down a good amount. 
when we are fatigued. So I'm going to buy that one. Thank you very much. So now let's head out. And check the mushrooms. I would love to find a place where I can store all my stuff. Some place I could call home. But we're just a newcomer, so... I don't think anyone will give us a home yet. And we don't have the money to buy one yet, so... That said, I did install a mod which adds a wizard's tower, an empty one. I just need to check where it is. So she did say something about following the river, then... Uh, sorry. Following the river south of Balmora. Okay, let's... Let's see, this is not the wooden bridge. Okay, we're following the river south of Gomorra. I'm not mixing up south and north, right? I mean, I did that mix-up thing earlier. With east and west when we arrived in Gomorra. So, didn't see an enemy, but I wanted to ready the shop spell. Oh, there are some more flowers. No wooden bridge. Where does she send us? Here's something. There are people there. And there is the wooden bridge. Let me just drop a quick save. Because it might be that these two people will attack us when we come too close. Well, let me check. I just did a quick save so I can just walk up to them and try to talk to them and then we'll see. Where's the money in that? Nope. They want to take me. If I can help, I will, but don't ah, take too okay. much time. I am a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm getting some fresh air. Ah, so this is the Egg Mine. Thank you. I'm just walking by and wonder who, who you were. Thank you. Have a very nice day. I'm just gathering some plants and be on my way. Good to know that these are not hostile. Okay, once you cross the river... There we go, we cross the river. I hope the bridge doesn't collapse under our weight. We should find a way to cross the mountains. Let's see here. I assume that we are supposed to follow the path. There is even more flowers there. These mushrooms are added by um, vegetation mod and are not pickable. They are just decoration, but they surely are um, confusing me. Let's see where this path leads us. Oh, the sun is rising again. And I think these are the mountains that she told us to find a way through. I'm... I'm the resource collector now because I want to... definitely want to learn how to do alchemy. I want to brew my own potions. Okay, yeah. 
So of course I'm picking clean the entire world. Um, in this game you don't learn anything from picking the plants if I remember correctly. Oh, there is someone. Let me drop a quick save because you never know if they might attack you on sight or not. The music changes. We are being attacked by a cliff racer. I just wanted to. Now I can do the shock spell which hits the cliff racer. And it doesn't do that much damage to them. But on the other hand, it does train our magic abilities. Come on, get down here so I can hit you with this dagger. And that seems to have been it. I don't want the corpses laying around here, so I'm disposing of them. And I'm healing myself. And now I need to drink one of the potions of Restore Magicka. And I only drank one of them. That's um, typical. Even if you take a stack, it only applies one of the potions. Okay, let me just real quick finish picking the flowers, then dropping another save, and then let's see. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. You're standing here around. I just wanted to know what's up, if you needed help. Hello, please, can you help me? I've lost my way, and I cannot find the holy place for which I'm searching. Hmm. Okay, I... can try to help her, but... I think I'm going to try to help her. Yes, the fields of Kumu. I'm on a pilgrimage to this holiest of places, but I seem to have lost my way. Perhaps you can help me find it. Surely you know this area better than I. I can pay you for your time, say... 150 septims. Um, honestly, I don't know where they are, but I can still help you, I guess. Thank you so much. I know the fields of Kumo are near the water. The view from there is supposed to be breathtaking. I've also been told there's a farm nearby where pilgrims may sometimes stop and rest weary legs. It was there that Lord Vivek met a poor farmer whose only guar had died. This farmer could not harvest his muck sponge without his guar, and would not provide muck for himself or his visit village. So the Lord Vivek removed his fine clothes, s laid them aside, and toiled in the farmer's fields, acting as a beast of burden until the entire crop was harvested. It is at the fields of Komu we go to pray for the same humility Lord Vivek showed on that day. I'll mark it on your map. So, you know where it is on a map, but you can't read a map. Okay. That's good. Now, which map marker is it? This is where we started. This is Bel Pelagiad. Then I guess this is Belmora. Ah, there they are. They're not, not much of a problem. Just Just follow me. Dropping another safe here. So I guess that this road here will go around and then somehow here. Yay, we've become more athletic. Which I think makes us faster. I'm curious what this is, and I want to pick the flowers. You should always. Ma'am, you should always take your time to admire the flowers and pick them. Oh, it's a tomb. Okay, now I know what tombs look like. You see, I'm not from here. I've come here by a boat. I was a prisoner, but I've got released. By order of Emperor Uriel Septim himself. That's kind of odd, isn't it? I don't even know myself why I got um, released. D didn't get any information. Anyhow, this 
Anyhow, this Lord Vivek seems to be a very awesome fella. For doing all that stuff. Let's see. And now we're going to head towards the left. Now look at this sun ray. It looks very nice. Going to head to the left. Uh huh. Towards Belmora. We know this road. This isn't this the lady. Yeah, this is the lady Tidings with the glove. Good wishes to you, friend. So basically, we now want to turn to the right at some point. Well, another another thing that, that Chaos Casadas told us is to maybe do some freelance adventuring. And I think this is definitely what we're doing right now, right? So I don't think we're wasting our time helping her. Also, it might be that these mushrooms grow, I'm sorry, grow on more than one spot. So. Yeah, just follow, follow the lake. So if you look, there is a lake to our right. It should be right here. But there it is. And we just follow the lake around the lake until we come to the fields of Kamun. And again, if I mispronounce stuff, Feel free to drop me a comment, especially if it's a name in the game, because being German and most of the stuff not being pronounced within the game here, I sometimes struggle with those weird names. I could also do this and walk slower so she can follow me. But I think pausing from time to time is less frustrating. Okay, now we should, I think, we should go this way. Yep, looks good. Honestly, if she hadn't given me the map marker. Um, I would have known by heart where they are, but for the sake of role-playing I would have asked around. Hoped that I can ask, or ask around. Lots of flowers are here. Didn't find the mushrooms yet. Well, I might, if I don't find them, I might just ask Ajira for more accurate descriptions of the mushrooms and where I can find them, I think. I mean, I didn't ask her for the mu about each of the mushrooms, and sh maybe she knows where to find them. So, I'm actually pretty sure I remember that you get more exactly told where to go for each of them so I think if I click them she will tell me where to find them each of them well for now we have ourselves a duty to show this lady to the fields of Kumu one thing that I also like about this game I mean look at the bad um, the bad models here. Um, the game is fairly old, but the one thing that I like about this game is um, the music. The background music is really, really relaxing, and sometimes I even just turn on the music just to hear it and to listen to it and to relax. Oh, 
that's the shrine. Thank you for your help, Nighty. Here's the payment I promised you. May all of your travels be safe. Thank you. I'm going to go back and finish my original task now. Definitely, we're going to ask Ishira about the mushrooms now. Let us real quick run back to Belmora. And not harvest any of the plants here anymore. So we can do the mushroom quest. So... So the thing that I remember is that you have to go to basically go around Sidonine to to find the mushrooms. So I'm kind of surprised that she sent us that way, but maybe she wanted us to go to explore around here. Which of course would be the same as going like north from Sedanin, right? We will see what she tells us where to find them. I hope she doesn't get angry with us. So, Mora was that away. And there is a rat. And our destruction skill Increased. Perfect. This means the chance to cast um, spells from the destruction category got higher. So this is how the magic works in this game. In, I think in Oblivion they changed it that you need the skill points in order to learn a spell. And to be honest, I don't know what the skill points do in Skyrim. I think it's similar to either similar to Oblivion or the Magicka cost gets lower the higher your skill is. But yeah, the magic lo the logic on what what the skills the, the magic skills do has changed in between the games. I could also get a spell to um, restore our fatigue. Because if we, for example, if we're in hand-to-hand -hand combat and we get punched and we don't have any fatigue, we will collapse. So restoring the fatigue at the beginning of a fight actually is a very good thing. keeps us standing and it uh, hires the, or it hires, yeah, it makes it higher. Uh, it um, removes the penalty, actually, from the spellcast chance that we have if our um, fatigue is very high. It's kind of, kind of weird to say, if, if we are very fatigued, which is when the green bar, the fatigue bar is low. Um, I always thought that that the word fatigue is, in a, is, is meant in a way that when your fatigue is high, you are tired. So it's similar to the Sims games where you have a bladder indicator which shows how full your bladder is and um, the indicator goes down because bad values are always shown as low, um, empty bars. So when your bladder bar is empty, you need to go to the, to the loo. Which is kind of weird, because it looks like you go to the loo to fill up your bladder. Um, actually, I want to ask about the mushrooms. What, what is about the Luminous Rusula? Rusula comes from a short, smelly toadstool, with, which is brown on top. 
Okay, no, she, she only... She only tells us... Um, basically... How they look like. That's not very helpful. I'm going to... I, I, I do remember that we were inside Anin. That, that I always got them there. So I'm going to... Run over to Saidanin. That was not very helpful from her. And that was also the reason why I did not uh, read this in the first place, because it was. I also remembered that this was only the. Uh, back when I talked to her to the first. in the first place, I was pretty sure that she would only describe how the mushrooms looked. Where would you like to go? Well, on the other hand, it is time for me to end this episode now. So, I'm going to cut over to the dice, and um, then I will continue recording, and you will see the next recording when... Well, when the... It's easier to say this in German. Uh, well, when the days have gone, which which amount is indicated by the dice? I don't think this is proper English. Well, you know what I mean. Anyhow, bye-bye.